Okay, hello dear friends. So I turn on the fire and put in um, and, uh, and heat up the pot. So we have this beautiful cauliflower we bought from the farmer's market and it's very clean, but still we cleaned it. And here is the mushroom. During the week, we are relatively busy, no time to take care of too much cooking preparation and things. We can do it relatively simple. Put in the cauliflower and the stem. You can cook a soup or so this way you get it to the very top of it and it is so good when the things are from the farmer's market or from the field. It has much more flavor. Put in. Now the fire is slower. I do not cut it on the board. This way I feel it does not even need to touch the board. Right? Just be careful with your with your hand. <laughs> I almost cut myself because I am talking. If I do not talk, I will be Perfectly. Okay. This you can boil some soup. You know, my family is checking the recipe. And sometimes I worry if there is not, a, if there is no cooking recipe, maybe he will die of starvation. Anyway, I think that's enough, right? This is enough. We put in now we can turn the fire strong and there is a lot of oil in it, so I do not need to put any oil for now. Cover it up and clean the workplace. This is so simple and uh, there needs some moisture. So you can put in hot water, stock, or cooking wine. So we have some inexpensive white wine. And it's not necessary at all. You can put hot water Put water equally fine. Time to say hello. Hello. Bye bye. Hello.
so this one will take time talking about cooking. Cooking is very much about letting the heat, the moisture inside the vegetable, inside the food, inside the rice, inside the pasta, whatever may it be, the water inside reach to a high temperature, reach to um, 80 degrees Celsius or reach to 100 degrees. That is the key point. So we will need to put some more liquid. This you can put water or anything and the taste you can put uh, vegetable stock or meat stock, anything. I am using hot water. I want to make it really clean. So put some hot water. So there is not very much for us to do. We have a lot of water here. So you can see we have quite some water here so I can use strong fire. If you do not have that much water, use slower fire. There is not a fixed how much you put. You will feel when it gets softened. I do not know how long it will take for today and each uh, cauliflower is different sometimes from farmers market right from farmers market there is more moisture so it takes shorter time to cook okay we will just let it be in let it simmer and I am using a strong fire for now. That's a lot. That's a lot. That's good. Eating vegetable is always good, right? So it is your choice to put some bouquet gagné, put some uh, uh, stock pieces like this. I will not put, I will keep it pure and clean for today. Let's, uh, not very much we can do. We will wait for it. Let's see. Maybe we can put an extra half spoonful of it. Doesn't hurt. It doesn't hurt to have a, a little bit more flavor, right? Never hurts. seems we can use an even stronger fire. I will use a stronger fire. Uh oh, this is not good. It's not happy. Okay, we turn it back. Okay, we put it back. It's just too noisy. <laughs> okay, let it cook. And um, I want to make sure that you see the real time of cooking it. So I will not stop. And at the same time, I will just blah, blah, blah a little bit. And uh, my family wanted to cook it with curry, with, uh, with uh, cardamom, with different flavors. It's equally fine. 
and uh, you can put different kind of flavor. You can put soya sauce. Everything is possible. And uh, there must be some friends asking, and uh, according to their habit, according to the way they cook, they first boil it. And this is what I have learned also. When I was young, my family cooked it first, a big pot of water, boil the cauliflower, blanch it, take it out and so it's still a little bit crispy but the 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 the, the, the cauliflower is much softened and uh, there was one time i visited my friend my classmate that was 50 years ago my element no 40 years ago my university friend and their family do not uh, Maybe they are busy, they do not boil it, just, they just cook it directly. And uh, it come out, nothing wrong with it. It's still delicious. So this is how I learned to cook it without um, previously boil it. Okay, this is almost good. Now I want to make it a little bit rich. So to make... Uh, a gravy. Now let's see. I will have some tapioca starch, some tapioca starch. You may want to see how much I put for this amount. This is about one teaspoon, about one teaspoon. Put some water. Put the fire slower, put it in, now turn the fire up, so you can see it's sickening, oh that is good. Which color plate we use today? Okay, so this is it. How about blue for today? Okay, we take it out. Now we are done. Look at it. Take it out. This on the bottom, the big chunky piece on the bottom. We want to make it a little bit beautified. And the mushroom on top and put some sauce. The sauce is not very, very, very much. Which is just perfect. Okay, that is it. Bye bye for it. Look at So, okay, this is the 
cauliflower with mushroom. And then we made another dish, my family made uh, with turmeric, with uh, stew cauliflower. And it is so delicious because it's from farmer's market. It's not inexpensive, but worth every cent of it. Fresh from the farmland is so delicious. With turmeric, with um, uh, mustard seed, mostly this. And at the end, we put some um, paprika. You can take a look at it. Put in all you spice and then put water simmer for five to ten minutes that's it Yeah. 